she has it, right? But Marty, turn around, Dan. <laughs> Marty, Marty, turn around. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> there you go. Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society. Right, is after this, I'll call it, and then we can play again tomorrow or something. Yeah. Oh. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The or stay the stay sober society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the brown. Better than the other answer I had gave her. Refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Oh, wait there. Oh shit! Hi, Michael. What in Howdy. the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? Oh. You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Oh, but okay. oh yeah, Edison died this year. Okay, but we can get 1931 is, I think, the year he passed right away. No, out of the question. Why? I can't oh. just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? They're sober. They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. They're gonna be drunk, dude. The fucking alcohol. <laughs> you can wear earplugs. That's what They'll be quiet. They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes. I play my tambourine very softly. Tambourine. You hear that? Yes, but. But what? But it's still impossible. The thing of the stay so. <laughs> the thing of the stay sober society. What'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I can. <laughs> but I promised Miss Strickland. It means so much to her. The answer is still no. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait. Ooh. Oh. You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. I know. People say that about Ari all the time. I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. <laughs> I'm uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Now you worry too much, Emmett. Now all we gotta do is serve that subpoena, and we're off to build your rocket drill. And get my patent. Yeah, your uh, patent. As he disappears. Go. Oh. Uh, oh, nope, he's right there. Okay, that's it for me. All right. Uh, if you guys, if those things, do want to see it all the way, let me know, unless you want to hold it off yes, tomorrow. Yes, please. All right. Right, we'll I'll take you. I'll take I'll take off. I'll be on the PS4 if you want to hang out later. Anymore. Alrighty. All right, you got you you have a good night, Sprite, and I'll see you, Matt. Mm -hmm. All right, take care, Zach. I'll I'll probably join you later. Let's see. Yep, you got it. All right. All right let's see where to go. Uh, run him over! Oh, oh pfft. Pfft. <laughs> I am surprised he did. I am surprised that was so close to certain death. Jesus. Okay, I think. All right, where to go? For well, didn't didn't Zach say he wanted you to hold Zach. off? Well, I, I figured I could play just a little bit more, and then I'll do it. Let's find like a good conclusion. Let's see. Guess what? In order to free up your younger self to complete the rocket drill, I'm gonna have to serve my own grandfather with a subpoena. Great Scott! Actually, his name's Arthur. He's Kid Tannen's accountant. Marty, whatever you do, it's vitally important that you don't alter your grandfather's future in any meaningful way. The consequences could be catastrophic. I know, got it. <laughs> so how are Clara and the kids? They're fine, fine. Right now we're trying to decide where to send Jules and Vern to college. Clara prefers the 2020s, but I'm partial to the 1960s. We're planning on visiting you and Jennifer in 2011 soon. Me and Jennifer? In 2011? Oh, forget I said anything. I would actually would have loved to have seen that. What happens in 2011? Are you doing jail? Okay. 
talk to you, man. Find your notebook. I know this really isn't the right time or place, but I found your notebook. Oh, so that's where I left it. Why'd you bring it here? Because the bank's selling off all your stuff. They can't do that. That's what I keep trying to tell them. Well, you hold on to it for safekeeping. We'll deal with my financial situation in 1986 after we saved me from a grisly death in 1931. All right, let's see here. Where'd the DeLorean come from? The last time I saw it had been smashed to pieces by a train. It's a fantastic story. Do you remember when the DeLorean got struck by lightning in 1955? Yeah. Unbeknownst to either of us, the lightning produced a temporal duplicate of the time machine, one that was tossed 70 years into the future. Ooh. What? I found out about it during a trip to 2025 and recovered it just in time to stop Riff Tannen from vandalizing the time stream. Hey, wow. So that DeLorean... We'll hear about that in two years. ...is the exact same machine as the original. Plus or minus little bells and whistles I've added over the years, of course. Let's see. Uh, we've already heard what he needed to do. So let's... Hang in there, Doc. Not the best choice of words, Marty. <laughs> let's see. Um, all right. So we got the soup kitchen done out of the way. Let's go see about... Uh, check of Einstein, I guess. Any idea where we could find Artie? Not a jot. If only we had a way of tracking him. Oh yeah, give Einstein the the hat. Here we we'll go. We'll get that subpoena delivered. Here you go, Einstein. And while you're there, may I make you find George McFly? Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy. Can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Oh. Where is he going? Only one way to find out. Ooh. Huh. Deja vu. There you go. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! There you go. I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Oh. He's just standing there menacing. What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Someone's playing tricks on me. Damn it. Oh. Now. Hey, Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We represent the law. You don't want to go against the law, do you? No, but I don't want to go against Kid Tannen either. And he ordered me to stay put till he gives the word. Sorry. Some other time. Damn. Get down here, damn it. <laughs> what now? There you go. It's me again. Please come down. Why? We've got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me I can leave. Sorry. Some other time. Hmm. What now? May I just give him the subpoena then? There you go. 
I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Okay. Uh. It's me again. Please come down. Why? I'm your grand, uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah. Glad to know you, but I can't <laughs> leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. Some other time. Damn. Okay. Uh, if you don't come down, I'll shoot you, damn it. <laughs> uh, let's see. What is that? Thanks for bringing us here, boy. We'll take it from here. Uh, he's got some ideas. Need any help? Um, never mind. There's gotta be a way to... What now? <laughs> Come down, because the world depends... Here, I'll show you the picture of my father. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Show your shame. To hand the subpoena to Arthur, not throw it. Uh, this is buzz him again, I guess. I don't need to push it again. Arthur's already there. It's me again. Please come down. Why? We've got something for you. It's a sub uh, subscription to the Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, oh, right. <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry. Some other time. Do you want me to look up on how to do it? Uh, yeah. Let's see. There's gotta be a maybe a hint. Maybe. Yeah, I can use a hint too. Get off your route, you'll need to go and get something from the town. So, okay. So we gotta go back to this the town. Well, so much for that. <laughs> town center. Oh, hello. As Doc just missed... It just disappears. I wonder what happens if I run to Tannen. Oh shit. Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, matches. Oh shit, here we go. I just saw a floating pencil. <laughs> Come down. From there, you son of a bitch. This hat right belongs now. to my grandfather. That's an order. Don't I don't think you're in a talkative mood right now. Get down here and face the <laughs> music. No way. I worked too hard to get it. You can't get away that easy. Hmm. Here you go. Have a picture of George McFly. <laughs> Nobody puts one over on Kitana and lives to tell about it. People. You're dead meat, twerp. Uh... Better start composing your epitaph so. now, because I'm going to carve it into Maybe your not. face. In Not sure what that'll do. Get down here. Let me see. Uh, We're only making Einstein. Help. <laughs> I'm stupid. I've been trying to throw Stay shit on. at them. Get away from that crazy nut. Go, go away, dog. We're busy here. Go on, scram. Hey, where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot. Damn. <laughs> okay, going to him is not a good idea. Okay. Uh, let me see. Okay. Uh, no, 
We'll get that subpoena delivered. All elements of the previous situation. Okay. Which is worse? Kids bark or his bite? Okay. I guess trigger it again and then like... Einstein. Let me see here. It's got it. There, there's that floating pencil again. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> from there, you son of a bitch. Right now. right now. That's an order. Don't make me angry, Schmucko. Get. Let's see. Down here and face. Look out, boss. It's it's that crazy mud again. What? What happened to his leave you lost him again? His What's audio's go yeah, his audio <laughs> his throat hurts. Hmm. He went mute for a second. Yeah. Here, I'll go look up the solution. Yeah, it's been a while. I haven't played it since the PS3 days. A flop house. I'm not so sure I want to stay in a place that welcomes transients. <laughs> the what? He was. I was gonna have him go to the flop house. Um. Uh, see here. Hey, how you doing, Einie? Einie. It's short for Einstein. Einstein, of course, because he was a patent officer just like you. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Not sure what that'll do. Let's see. God, it's been so long. Almost feels like he's a hint. Is that floating pencil still here? Oh, You're no. visiting? Alright, I need your license. What All apartment right. do they live in? Uh, let me see. Yeah, let's, let's I do need it. A number. <laughs> since, since he's busy, let's do a hint. There you go. Marty isn't cowed by kids ranting, but timid Arthur probably would be. Okay. He was up here? Not that. You. Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe if I go back to Arthur? You said 109? Help. Let's see, man, I can talk uh, Arthur out by uh, George Mc uh, bleh, by Kid Tannen. We. Is that for you? One more moment. Let's see. What now? It's me again. Please come down. Why? We represent the law. You don't want to go against the law, do you? No, but I don't want to go against Kid Tannen either. And he ordered me to stay put till he gives the word. Sorry. Some other time. It's gonna be another... Uh, let's see. So we can't call him out. We can't. God, I feel like a dummy. The answer's got to be like pretty simple here. It's got to be when you chase him out, right? It's just like freaking um. Yeah, Matt or Super Sprite, if you want to look it up. It's got to be uh. Hey! 
Hey. I know triggering that leads to this. Hang on. Why is that? F oh, it's I saw it. Oh, yeah. okay. So, 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 Aaron, 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 Aaron. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do the you sequence with Tannen again. I already got that. Kid Tannen and lives to tell about it. You're dead meat, twerp. Did you get the voice recording? In your epitaph now, I'm oh, yeah. Now, oh, face. now. I, okay, why didn't I think of this before? When he says, get down here. In both. There we go. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now. There we go, and then get Einie, and then go back. Hey, Einie. There we go. Look out, boss! It's, it's that crazy mud again. There we go. Yeah, I gotta remember. You gotta use the, you gotta use the tape recorder to perfection. I can't believe That's you lost what it... him again. All right, back to my... <laughs> back to the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that was the that was the thing you needed was. When he says get down here, you need to have that voice recording. It's so obvious, but him. I feel I, it's like it, it's amazing how so obvious it is. It's like <laughs> you gotta keep using the tape recording, it's essential. Oh, god, yeah. All right, thanks, man. I appreciate it. There we go. Feeling, I had a feeling it was something to do with the tape recorder. Yeah, all right, here we go. One more time. <laughs> see what time is it? I'll go. F let's see. What now? I guess after we hook up um, this, we'll see what happens. There we go. Yep. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's kid. Right away, boss. Ah, uh, where's kid? I killed now him. you can serve him the subpoena. There we go. Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into- Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest! But kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh shit. Well, we've served the subpoena and got the barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! Doc! There I'm off go. to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Hmm. Good thing he's blind as fuck. <laughs> Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Oh, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. <laughs> cool. Oh, hot! Extremely <laughs> hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Yes. <laughs> Could you repeat that in English? Is there going to be a test on uh... Hey, Matt! Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. 
You look under the reaction. I'll try to get rid of him. Right. Into the what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late. The reaction's already started. Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. But I'm trying to find a good way to end this, but it's like. Coming, father. Should we end it here? Oh, it like... me, child. All right, I think we'll end it here because it is getting late. Yeah. This was great though. Thanks for coming, Super Sprite. And I, I, I'm glad to hear you're feeling better. I hope it helped. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. We should probably do this again probably tomorrow or so. Yeah, totally. We can get Zach back and join us. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. All right, let me see if I can close and save it here. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see, try to save it here. Maybe I can get that. There we go. Save and load. All right. Uh, auto save and it's lab. Okay. Uh, okay. And it, well, it will load here. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll head off now. I'll catch you guys later. See you guys. Thanks for coming. Right. Yeah, no problem. All right. Bye. Bye, y'all. Have a good night's sleep. See ya. You too. And here we go. Let's pick up right where we left off. All right. Emmett's lab. Oh, it even keeps track of the, the dates, too. It's in 2023, all right, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? <laughs> okay, if I remember right, it was the crank. <laughs> Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me. Okay, I gotta try to remember what it was. It was like... You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. <laughs> what did you do? Emmett, who are you talking to in there? Uh, no one, father. Okay, I gotta try to remember what this was. It was like. Why don't skin. you go feed the ducks, father? <laughs> okay, I might have to start this one over because I need like a refresher. Oh Just my god. Pay attention to what I say. Damn it! I'm not through with you yet. I. <laughs> oh god. This may like... come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. <laughs> oh god damn it. I thought you were a scientist. No, I'm not. I'm not a scientist. I'm just trying to... Oh my god. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? <laughs> okay. This gotta be a way to... Don't touch anything until I tell you to. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> God damn it. Okay. <laughs> is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? <laughs> Stoke the fire. <laughs> oh, God. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Okay. Let me see if I can rewind it. There is a flame inside Finish the me processing that fuel well for... your legalistic gobbledygook. Realistic gobbledygook. Okay. Oh, pay attention to Emmett's words as he argues with his father. Okay. Oh, I was like wondering what he means by listening to the words I'm telling you. That okay. could be it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Time 
For it and go. Law may be your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. They're burning. <laughs> okay. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? There you go. What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! There we go. There we go, we're getting somewhere. What? No! Shit, okay. Just pay attention to what I say. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, I'm trying! I'm trying! Okay. Fire. Maybe I could just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? Okay. Oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought you were a scientist. I'm not. Stop. Stop <laughs> being so mean. All right. The law may be your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. <laughs> You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start. Oh. Don't. I thought it was like the waterman. Shit. Okay. I am such an idiot. Oh my God damn it. Don't touch anything until I tell you to. <laughs> that must be like a really long thing. He's giving them. There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. Okay. That's one. Pressuring me to be something I'm not. Okay. There we go. You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! <laughs> You're going to back I don't know if eating you, father, but I wish you would go on a diet. <laughs> Someday you have children and you will Okay, good. What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! That was water trapped in the ocean. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. <laughs> You're going to find out that when you get there we uh, go. Halfway there. Almost done. Keep up the good work. Yeah. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? You didn't like the tear. You're going to get Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Your mother and I are shocked at your behavior, young man. Yes. No. Oh no. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. I could. <laughs> Durr. I shouldn't listen to that. I shouldn't have done that. How many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms? Don't shake your British so cavalierly, my son. Okay. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Are you trying to spin this argument around to my failings? You don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. By Galileo's rotations, do you ever listen to yourself? 
Uh, rotations? Eating your father, but I wish it would go on a diet. Oh, guys, get me. Maybe your burning passion, father, but it is not mine. No, come on, what? Oh, <laughs> God damn it! What did you do? Damn it! <laughs> come on. I did you have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. You didn't like it. Not being such a crank. Pressure? You don't know anything about pressure. Why are you always bellowing at me? What will it take to light a fire under your unappreciative anger? Oh, that's it. Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria. What are they feeding you in that school of yours? You look like a skeleton. <laughs> Pressuring me to be something I'm not. Damn it. You Shit. Are... <laughs> Why must you always scatter condescension my way? <laughs> you didn't like it. Yes. There we go. There. One more time. <laughs> coming, father. God damn it. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Name oh, one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. Hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? You know who invented fire, Pop? I don't know either, but you sure, sure it wasn't a lawyer. Wasn't a lawyer. <laughs> Nothing but overblown <laughs> bags of gas. Law? What use is a microorganism for law? I strongly object to the current of this conversation. Uh, go, 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 go. I'm getting so hot under the collar, Pop. She's pressuring me to be something I'm not. There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legal. No! Oh. No! What the fuck? Just pay attention to what I say. I am! <laughs> I am! What's going on? <laughs> Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? Do I get a turn to talk, or is this going to be another monologue? Uh, if you don't like one. my performance at the courthouse, then fire me! Can't you see this is eating me up inside? This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Sure. Why are you always bellowing at me? God damn it. This isn't food for thought, Pop. Food. It's gruel. Name one great thing ever faster. generated by a lawyer. Why must you always scatter condescension my way? And food, food. You know who invented fire, Pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Oh, wait, she have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Pressure. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. Oh, what? thank God. This isn't over, young man. Whew. That was nerve-wrecking. I've forgotten how okay. bad that was. You and your dad sounded. It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... Eureka! Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill and you and, and I can- I can take it and go. But don't you wanna test it first? No time. The, uh, the, the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've gotta get this baby to the US patent office. <laughs> uh, exactly. <laughs> so tell me, Michael, when can I expect to hear back from the patent office? Uh... A month? Oh, jeez. Oh, in about, I'd say... I, I can't. Huh? Emmett, I I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It, it was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's uh, somebody who's in big trouble. Uh, someone very important to me, to, to both of us. Uh, oh. I can't tell you who, but... I need to save him tonight. 
And, and I need your invention to do it. Oh, man. That's hard. But he had to do it, man. I'll get it back to you. I, I promise. And, Emmett, you're going to be a great inventor. Right. Keep the throttle at about eight. He's got a good feeling about him. That was a sweet moment, I think, right? That was pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Oh, gosh. Wait, why did Doc not answer? Yeah, I was gonna say, where is he? Oh, jeez. Oh, oh it's no. coming. Mr. Corleone! You're too late! Too late? But Doc's not supposed to be. They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping. Oh, I better go get a quote from the police chief. Oh no, he's <laughs> taking him away. We're gonna get Doc now. Paddy wagon intercepted, suspect slain, and they're still after him. How am I gonna rescue him now? Time to call. Oh, no. Time to get that DeLorean. <laughs> Here, let me ask my dad. George, what, <laughs> George, what would I do in this situation? Oh, no. Hmm. At least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. Make it... Oh, there we go. What can make a turbo-powered bike? Uh, turbo-powered bike, man. That's actually kind of fucking awesome. I've forgotten how cool that looks in theory. <clears throat> All right, I'm coming, Doc. Oh shit! That is dangerous. Martin, you're still in danger, Doc. We've got to get you out of here. Oh, stop. I said you're still in danger. Never mind. Never mind. Get me out of here. I will talk later. Mm, okay. They're locked. I oh, know. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> they won't budge. Uh, here we go. Go right. Ooh, here we go. Toolbox. It'd be really cool if you, like, like you know, like, get, like, a pin and, and pop the tires. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like he's going anywhere. Oh, it's just like in part two. What are you doing here? 
Yeah, throw a hubcap at him. Oh. <laughs> Throwing the hubcap, but that would do it. <laughs> just attack him with the hubcap. <laughs> or no, 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 I got an idea. No, no. Uh, hey, Kid Tad. <laughs> Kid Tad, would, would you like to see my boy? I don't want to mess up my picture of Dad like that. There we go. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let me see here. It's gotta be something I can use to distract him, right? Not sure what that'll do. Good idea. Uh, yeah. Oops. Uh, okay. uh, there's gotta be something. Is there anything on the. I can look at. Oh, there's the keys. I need those keys on Yeah, got it. Uh. Keys. The window shut tight. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Uh. Keys. Yeah, there's someone to get in there. <laughs> Let me see. Alright, throwing the hubcap in the. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do anything. <laughs> that was a dumb suggestion. My part was like, yeah, let's uh. They won't budge. Um. Keys are on the dashboard, but I can't reach them. Or something to extend the reach. Okay. Um, I'll be back. Something to extend the reach. There's gotta be something like in the. Is there anything in the bike? Is there something in the bike I could use? Oh wait, no, the this, the antenna. I'm, I'm stupid. There we go, antenna. Let's go for the antenna. I'm surprised he knows that before. All right, here we go. All right, or is it on this side? There we go. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's see. If I, like, flick it in Kid Tan's face or something. Not sure what that'll do. Uh. Not sure what that'll do. Go left, Morty. Dang it. I gave you the wrong escape button. Whoops. Let's try going to Tannin. Okay, 
Okay, that's not gonna work. Um, try like jiggling the door, maybe. Like the unlocking the door, wouldn't that kind of help? Rear window, maybe something in the real. I'll be back. No. Not sure what that'll do. Oh no, I thought that was that was the one. Okay. Uh jiggle something. Not sure what that'll do. What what do you think I should do? Uh so. um is there like an option that you can like twist the window? <sighs> Not the window, the the handle or something. The so. car. I need a distraction. I need a distraction. Leave it to me. There we go. Hey, hey Don't buy me too fast. Watch how you take those curves. What are you trying to do? Kill me? Not quick enough. There we go. Okay. And I just saw Doc phase into freaking. Yeah, the windows are shut though. That's the thing. Oh, oh, do the distraction again and the stick in there. Okay. All right, let me just go back. I need another distraction. Can you distract him again? No problem. Hey, driver. Why do I do no way? Yeah, I'm going to try and get the stick and get the, the key. Until we get there, and I want to see my lawyer right now. Do you hear me? Shut up. Okay, so distract him and then pull it when he's looking the other way. Okay. Yeah. Right, cool, good idea. Can you distract him again? No oh, problem! Hey, driver! There we go. I object to your okay, now get the voice. stick. <laughs> Just like in part two. Yeah. Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they call you the streak. How did you know that? I have my sources. Call them the streak. <laughs> cool. Now I get that key. Stand back, Doc. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm surprised that they <laughs> Yeah, he's a terrible shot. Lead, Sagan. Far out. For the frisbee. Ow. Son of a bitch. There you go. Grab the gun. Now kill kill Tannen! Oh wait, no, okay. <laughs> Use gun on Tannen. Kill Kid Tan and Marty. You know what you need to do. Oh, oh, oh. This is a rush through. Uh, that's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, run. That's the throttle. Run. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> the manure truck. And that's how. And that's hey, when, Zach. 
Hey, Zach, you made it just in time. For what? Back to the Future. Oh, well, uh, you, you did miss some parts, though. Okay? I'll have to... I'll uh, it's okay. Fine. It's okay. I can always rewind it but and, like, go back to where it was. You, you can do that, uh, I guess, I after. Or I can just, I'll put it up on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I'm tr Hang on. There you we go. I got it. Happened? I had a but, but if you want to give me a, uh, so, if you want to give me a brief, uh, idea of what happened. Hold on. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, uh, but I think we've got bigger problems right now. What? Great Scott! What? Basically, mm -hmm. we were able to, um... We were able to get the subpoena and we handed it over to Artie McFly. And, um... After that, we we did um, um, we I guess we'll wait for this one. Uh, what's happening? I don't know. We we'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. Oh my god, 2010? I thought this was like 2013. Oh my god, this was this was a long time ago. Okay, yeah, so we gave the subpoena to Artie, and I guess as you could probably deduce from the episode. Not a good idea to give the subpoena to, to Artie. Because now Kid Tannen really wants to get him. But in the process, we were able to... We were able to talk the younger Doc Brown into giving us the rocket-powered drill. And by doing that, we got to... Um, we had the alcohol from the soup, from the soup barrel, or like the, the soup kitchen, the alcohol barrels... We brought that over to Doc Brown's place, where his, his father is, and we learned about Doc's father and how very authoritarian, very difficult to live with it can be. And so yeah. we had we had this mini game where we would test out. He would give us like tips on how to set up the rocket drill and like this kind of like a remembering like a memory game where we would say, okay, tilt this, you know, um, burn the flame here, do this. It was difficult because it was going really fast. It, it got pretty messy. So we were about to go free Doc um, from jail with the rocket powered drill, only to find out that Kid Tannen had abducted him. So rather than kill him while he's on the street on the way to the courthouse, no, he basically took him the police car and drove off, and that's when I had to go and rescue him. And so this happened. <laughs> so I so... guess... So now, so basically, now our Arthur McFly is gonna get is gonna die, and that's gonna erase Marty from existence. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, uh, episode two does a recap. I'm gonna start episode two now, and I'm gonna, I'll do. It, hopefully, it does like a recap, and I'll I'll edit this in post. So let me uh, cancel the recording, and I'll set up episode two. All right. Yeah.